Hello and welcome to Bharat Shakti. I am Nitin Gokhale. With me in the studio is a special guest, Deputy Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Ashutosh Dikshit, man in charge of many projects in the Air Force and many responsibilities. Someone who also looks after the uh, emphasis that the armed forces, or especially the Air Force, has on Atmanirbharta, and that's why we thought uh, we'll talk to him and understand from him where is the Air Force as far as these aspects are concerned and. Many other issues. So, welcome to this program, Air Marshal. Thank you, Nitin. It's a pleasure that you could come here. So, let me ask you, uh, you know, a very obvious question. Uh, the Air Force has so many multiple requirements, and uh, has, um, you know, uh, also the need to retain its combat edge. It's a very technologically driven uh, force. How are you able to maintain this uh, with ever evolving technology, ever evolving uh, the new, uh, you know, innovations that are coming in? Yeah, thank you for this question. So we are we have to take a holistic approach uh, to ensure that we remain technologically relevant, and uh, we are able to also address uh, adversaries' uh, technological advancements. So uh, we do two three things uh, from procurement side. Uh, that is, we try and look for new technologies, induct them. Or we try to innovate them, or we try to make them through DRDO. Second is uh, we infuse some technology into our legacy platforms, like we have done some kind of uh, uh, upgrades in uh, Mirage 2000, MiG 29, uh, even ground systems also we have upgraded, and now we are looking for Su 30 upgrade. The third thing which we do is we put newer weapons into our uh, platforms. Uh, these weapons are generally developed by DRDO like Astra missile we have introduced into uh, Su-30. It has uh, given it a very a great capability. Mm -hmm. We will be changing the radar also of Su-30 in due course of time. Mm -hmm. So this is from the equipment front. Right. Now equipment alone does not uh, make us uh, what we are. So uh, we have to continuously evolve our training patterns. Our uh, doctrinal uh, constructs also we keep changing. Actually, Air Force has brought out a new doctrine last year only. And uh, we are constantly changing our training pattern. Even in training, we are introducing new type of uh, technologies and uh, uh, the people who are coming are much more technologically savvy and they, they understand it. So, we are trying to reduce the training time and ensure that uh, with the least amount of effort, we are able to get the best training plan. So, this is uh, in a nutshell. No, no, it's uh, wonderful because uh, ultimately uh, you have to make a combination of uh, human resource being upgraded or uh, being up to date and your equipment also being upgraded all the time. But uh, with this recent emphasis uh, by the government on and all the forces uh, consequently of uh, self-reliance in defense or Atma Nirvarta, uh, are you satisfied with the kind of technology Indian companies bring to the table? Uh, are they up to the mark or are they able to improve or whatever you want uh, improvise as they go along? Yes. Now, this Atnirbhita thing, it has become very important. If you look at the geopolitical scenario of uh, Russia, Ukraine and uh, Israel, Hamas, uh, the timelines of the conflict are now maybe out of our hand, out of the hand of these people also. So, in such a situation, Atmanirbhita is becoming more and more uh, compulsory. Coming to the main uh, uh, crux of your question is, see, uh, we have to build this capability with uh, Indian uh, defense ecosystem. We have to generate an ecosystem. Uh, so, the major thing is being done by DRDO. They have been doing this. Uh, so, they have been mandated to select for each project, minimum two uh, development come production partner, which we are uh, helping them to select also. Uh, second is, we are now getting behind DPSUs to involve more and more uh, uh, private sector partners and uh, these kind of things we are doing. Now, there are two or three challenges mm -hmm. in the industry. Right. Uh, because we do not have an aviation mindset, uh, sure. uh, we had DPSUs only, only HL was the yes. production mm -hmm. agency. So, what uh, we see is, 
there is some uh, issue with basic infrastructure mm. basically testing infrastructure right because uh, aviation equipment is requiring too much of certification sure. and lot of test this is one aspect second is skill mm. skill we are still yet to reach that level right uh, where uh, our engineers mm. are able to deliver that kind of product the finesse uh, fin or the, yes. the fine uh, fine tuning of all fine tuning yes but how are you hand holding that uh, apart from telling the dpsus or uh, yes. you know others uh, are you also reaching out directly to startups and yes. uh, innovators so uh, we have done this uh, project uh, uh, which is called idex which is a very good scheme which sure. uh, government has launched so in that what we do is from selection of the uh, development agency mm -hmm. uh, now we are not calling him vendor anymore <laughs> or calling him oem anymore yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we call him development partner or development right. agency mm -hmm. from the selection of the project along with him to test and certification our team is there with him okay. through and through we are making mm -hmm. our air bases available we are making our laboratories available mm -hmm. testing infra available mm -hmm. so this mm -hmm. is what we are doing two or three successes have happened we have signed three contracts mm -hmm. uh, as a result of that and much more will come so our experience that is uh, our operational experience we are able to put into the people so yes. see, so that is a good process because you know yeah. that only not only yes. helps you to uh, get indigenous solutions but also helps uh, creating an ecosystem Correct. which you are uh, desiring uh, in that sense yes. so uh, also you have got a new department or a new new yes. let me say a vertical uh, yes. it's called what dad or something yes it is called uh, directorate of aerospace development okay uh, so uh, we started uh, with frugal setting mm -hmm. about 2 and 2 uh, and a half years back right now uh, if you look at the um, policy spectrum mm -hmm. so we have uh, uh, one make uh, chapter in the sure. dap yeah. so that make chapter looks at uh, different types of make procedures and idex and tdf correct so all this mm -hmm. is under the ambit of director of aerospace design so all activities related to that particular chapter that mm -hmm. is uh, selection of the project hand holding of the uh, development agency mm -hmm. interfacing them with our uh, field units and our operational direct uh, directorates right now uh, they are right now based in delhi in mm -hmm. under air headquarters right now what we are doing is we are trying to open two regional centers i see so one let's say uh, we will open in pune uh, one uh, we may open in coimbatore okay because this is the area we see is untapped we have good presence in uh, bangalore and hyderabad correct, correct. since uh, means it last 30 years, years. Yeah. Exactly. but these yeah. areas they have very good capability lot of msmes a yes. uh, lot of startups yeah but untapped untapped correct. so this is where we are going to open a regional uh, center of dad right and we will again handhold and let's see oh, that, i think that's excellent because uh, that will what a, what has changed actually if you see and i yes. it's a very appreciable uh, thing that you have reaching out Yes. to the uh, the ecosystem or the untapped ecosystem as you yes. mentioned because many a times those people cannot come to yes. delhi they feel lost i think yes, it's a good initiative feel and lost. Uh, yes. my compliments for that thank you but uh, coming to uh, force induction and force planning yes. uh, lca uh, tejas yeah. is one of your uh, major projects Very give major us an update on uh, what's happening on lca yeah lca tejas uh, we started very long time back mm. uh, now when we started a uh, lot many things were not available at all and we had to build it from scratch mm -hmm. so uh, the first is the aero structure design that how the aircraft should be shaped and uh, what should be the size of the fin and those kind of things uh, we had to invent right uh, right from the scratch then came this computer the fly by wire thing has been a great success uh, uh, completely indigenous mm -hmm. from design to software mm -hmm. testing everything right. indigenous now so we have been able to achieve this ioc and fuc version that is 20 aircraft we have inducted 20 mm -hmm. plus 20 we have right. inducted mm -hmm. trainers four are left mm -hmm. three are left it, they will come right. in due course of time mm -hmm. when we saw that it has got very good potential mm -hmm. so we decided that it needs to be uh, let's say modernized some more so we went in for lca mark 1a now when the lca mark 1a development was happening mm -hmm. uh, 
we realize that it will come out to be a, a very good platform. Mm. So, uh, if you notice, mm -hmm. uh, we had ordered 83. Right. Before delivery of first aircraft, mm -hmm. we have got and taken AON of uh, 97 mm -hmm. more. Right. So, this shows us our uh, confidence uh, in the LCA program. <laughs> confidence <laughs> in yes, Certainly. Uh, no, I was yeah. at the HAL just to share yeah. uh, that news and they were also very uh, grateful and uh, very happy that uh, Air Force is uh, posing confidence yeah. in them, reposing confidence in them. Of course, uh, like you said, the delivery schedules have to be met, all this has to happen. But eventually, uh, that will not may not be enough and uh, we uh, have to yeah. also look at uh, your uh, long-standing program, the MRFA. Yes. So, give us an update on that. Yeah, so MRFA program, we are looking at all the options. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, like we just discussed earlier, this Make in India and Atmir Prata is, the, uh, is required. So, we are discussing with uh, the prospective uh, OEMs, how much they can indigenize, mm -hmm. what route they are going to take right. uh, and our demand is uh, uh, Much good higher number, than good good, than huh, whatever you can imagine yeah. it is more than That's that. Right. Uh, yeah. We want to integrate Indian weapons, we right. want to integrate some Indian systems mm -hmm. and we want to make almost everything get Right. So, we are just negotiating that. Mm -hmm. Not negotiating, we are discussing basically right. so that we can prepare a case. Correct. So, mm -hmm. once that happens, maybe mm -hmm. within the next three, four months, mm -hmm. we should be able to approach the government with some kind of a proposal. Right. That is where we are right ah, now. I think, yeah, that timeline is uh, certainly something that we we'll yes. look out for. Yes. Uh, talking about integration, I'll just take you back to LCA. Yes. Uh, yes. A lot of the uh, systems and weapons that the LCA Mark 1A is going to have, um, the uh, integration, uh, is it on track or is it yeah. like something that is a challenge for both uh, HAL and for the Air Force? The users and uh, HAL have to meet uh, yeah. often. So, okay. So, one very interesting fact I will tell you. Mm -hmm. LCA is the only aircraft mm -hmm. which has got Russian weapon right. <laughs> and uh, Western weapons. Right. And Indian weapons, right? All integrated on one flat. Exactly. No other uh, mm -hmm. aircraft in the world will have this kind uh, of will have this variety. kind of uh, variety. Uh -huh. So the integration of Russian weapons is a different uh, technological uh, problem. Right. American weapons or uh, Western weapons are different, and mm -hmm. we are able to do our weapons uh, without much trouble. So right. this is a uh, tricky part. So, uh, we go two steps, we take one, take back one step, mm. then all those kind of things are happening. Mm. But yes, it is on track and uh, uh, maybe middle of this month, mm. uh, LCA Mark 1A will go to uh, Jaisalmer mm -hmm. and fire a lot of weapons. Right. Uh, and it, we will see that it should uh, perform quite nicely. I am sure it will yes. be because they are also very, very confident yes. about doing this. One thing I found in <coughs> HAL was also their helicopter division is doing far better or has got more orders. So, what is okay. your experience about the no, helicopter? No, so, heli helicopter division, mm -hmm. you see helicopter division has been very lucky <laughs> okay. uh, in the mm -hmm. sense of that the heli their whole, all the helicopters are de uh, designed around the drive system. Right. So, drive system they perfected long time back mm -hmm. when they did uh, ALH Mark 1, there was some issue there right. which with uh, our discussion with them, mm -hmm. it uh, got resolved. Right. And so, large number of uh, ALHs uh, in various avatars got produced, mm -hmm. maybe I think more than close to 200. That's produced. right. Yeah. So, with the same drive system, they have now made LCH. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, so, LCH also we are uh, ordering in a yes. good number. It is a weaponized version. Right. So, this is has been a very good and uh, good success story. Though there are some minor issues, but that I think we will be able to resolve. Right. Production numbers and ramping of production is, yes. I think they have opened a new factory new also yes. and uh, it will get some orders. Mm. Now, we are embarking on a, mm. uh, let us say next step of helicopter development. Okay. Uh, uh, we want, you see, we we are uh, operating uh, a helicopter in 5 ton Correct. case is a Mi-17. Yeah. That's right. And we are, uh, the V-5 version also we are operating at uh, uh, higher uh, altitudes in yes. Leh Ladakh. Area. Correct. We want uh, it to be made in India or right. uh, developed in India. Yes. So, that is, we are calling it Indian Maritime uh, uh, multi Indian Ma multi-role multi helicopter, helicopter yes. and that is what uh, uh, we are I think aiming. that development is happening or they have already yeah. opened a joint venture yes. with Safran. Uh, that, uh, uh, so, the engine is uh, Safran. Safran joint venture yes. and uh, they are started the development That's and right. uh, yeah. So, 
and that also will be in a good number and it should have good export potential yeah, as per their study they have carried so helicopter they have uh, Mean quite, uh, well. quite but okay. that also reminds me, HL was saying that they are opening another assembly, I mean another line uh, of production in uh, Nashik uh, with 8 or 16 more numbers to be coming up there. So, Air Force is, that is obviously uh, supporting it. LCA. LCA, I am talking That's about LCA. Yeah, so LCA. now LCA, yeah. now uh, LCR appetite is quite high. High, exactly. Okay, we uh, 24 mm. per month, uh, per, per year, year. Yes. if they are not, they have to deliver. Yes. So, this mm. year they will be, they are, they should be do 12, next year I think 16 and after that they should reach 24. 24. So, one line is in Nasi. Right. And two lines are in, in uh, Bangalore. Bangalore. Yes. Uh, so, they should hit. So, they were saying that we have already got that going and that yeah. should give us a capacity boost. Yeah, we are after them. Right. You see, it is not only them to get the, you see, you cannot put only lines. Yes. Uh, from uh, person who is making nut, bolt, <laughs> for sure. He has to increase his... Everyone has uh, to deliver and yeah. increase the capacity. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. One final question. I think yes. this um, standoff in Ladakh, uh, last four years, almost now it's going to be four years. Uh, okay. What are the lessons that you've drawn from there of deployment of personnel, equipment? What are the challenges you've faced and how have you overcome them? Yeah, see, we... Uh, for all our equipment, uh, till now we were uh, pegging at uh, say 10,000 feet lay. Yeah. Uh, now we are pegging higher. Right. That is the first thing which we have done. Mm. Uh, we also had got uh, some uh, powers or emer emergency procurement uh, from government uh, for this, right. which we have used to the hilt. Now, uh, I think till 5 kilometers we are uh, able to handle. Mm -hmm. We have experimented also. We have experimented with some new type of uh, let us say uh, power system, you see generators mm -hmm. do not yes, work. Uh, yeah. So, some kind of uh, fuel oil uh, type of thing we mm -hmm. have experimented mm -hmm. with. Some type of cover around the radar antenna also we have mm -hmm. experimented with. Mm -hmm. So, these are the lessons which we have learned and uh, the new equipment uh, which we are uh, going to procure mm -hmm. will have these kind of things. Also, we have understood that you have to keep a certain number of people acclimatized so that they can uh, Reach, there, yeah, yeah, you cannot mm -hmm. just send a person, mm -hmm. uh, miss overnight, <laughs> to, he, uh, the high yeah, altitude, yes. he cannot go there and Certainly. start working. So, right. this is the, this two, three things, some clothing issues are there. Mm -hmm. So, this all we have understood and mm -hmm. this, this has been a very tough and challenging experience. But I think you overcome them from what yes. I could see. My team was there yes. recently, they were saying yes. and then the Thois Air Base is now buzzing with activity. The Thois and Lay, you lay go, you don't, you don't have a place. Place to stay there, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And with Neoma likely to come yes. up in the next 4-5 years, yes. let us see how it happens. Yes. But uh, that's a good note on which to end our conversation. Thank you. Thank you very much for all the insights and the information. Uh, I'm sure that we have many more occasions uh, to come to you and discuss how the Air Force is uh, dealing with the challenges of procurement as well as induction of new equipment. Thank you for this time. Thank you. That was uh, Air Marshal Ashutosh Dixit uh, speaking to us about the Air Force's uh, plans, inductions, procurements and of course the challenges. Uh, do keep watching Bharat Chakti and of course keep sending us feedback and your comments are always welcome as I have uh, consist consistently said and your uh, comments on social media and our platforms are also welcome. So till the next time, it's goodbye.